What is film and what is love? Ever since I began my filmmaking journey, I've been haunted by this particular question. In searching for answers, I was preoccupied with a particular project for 30 years, a film about my childhood and my father. The title of the film appeared to me in a dream, on a chalkboard in an empty classroom from my school from childhood. I tried to complete this faithful project of mine three times, but invariably failed to secure funding, perhaps because it's set in the 1960s. Could it be that those bygone days came across as rustic, drab, and unfashionable to producers? When I was seven, my family moved to Seoul because of my father's new job. He'd been a cook for a U.S. military detachment until the unit withdrew from our city. Wow! Mom, is this our new home? Whoa! Huh? Huh? Whoa! dreams and nightmares. On the first day we moved in, I saw my father fighting against a dragon. But it was not a monster. It was the first fluorescent light that we had ever seen. This place was hard for our family. My mother was always saying, in Seoul, they'll take the shirt right off your back. You must get your act together if you want to survive here. My father would go to work on time every morning. Come rain or shine, he never missed a day of work. Later this year, we received a telegram informing us that my grandmother had passed away. My father and I hit the road together, the only father-son trip I ever remember. But the telegram was a lie. Grandmother had faked her own death because she missed her son so much. She liked to tell me stories about my father. If only that pathetic husband of mine hadn't gone to Gando to make money, your father would have risen to the rank of county governor. No amount of pleading and crying could stop that damn old man from taking off and leaving us. It snowed so heavily the night before and I was worried about being late for your father's elementary graduation ceremony. I held his hand tight and walked in silence. Then your father suddenly claimed that he wanted to stop studying and start making money. I can never forget the look in his eyes when he said that. It was during this trip that I understood something about my father and my father's father. Could absence be something we inherit? Back when I was an avid filmmaker, drinking heavily and often staying out, apparently my mother told my father to give me a good scolding one day. But he merely said, Myung's heart will burst if you boss him around, so just let him be. 
I was surprised to hear that. Truth be told, all the conversations I ever had with my father wouldn't last an hour altogether. I realized the truth. I thought he was as good as out of my life, but he was always there, watching me closely and loving me by way of disappearance. At that moment, I was struck by an epiphany, not just about love, but also about film. It reveals itself by disappearing. Young Soo, your father should be back soon. Will you go out and greet him? Mom, when are we getting a television? We will later. Later? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Why can't we get one now? <laughs> later. When you finished your studies. Huh? Really? When I finished my studies? That's right. <laughs> now, go and get your father. <laughs> Where is your father? I don't know. He's not here yet. That Christmas was rhythmed by the sirens from the curfew. My father lost his job, but he didn't tell us. Every morning, he left the house on time and went looking for work. We had no idea what he was up to. That day, my mother and I stayed up late waiting for him to come back. He never returned. If I may make a belated confession, it wasn't my father I was waiting for. I was waiting for a gift, a special magazine that I'd asked him to get for me, unbeknownst to my mom. Mom, it's father! Oh, is that you, darling? Dad! Dad! My father never once showed his anxiety or nervousness to his family. He'd come home in the evening, stoop-shouldered, and silently pour himself a shot of bitter soju so he could fall asleep and then drag himself to work early the next morning. About the father figure, German philosopher and cultural critic Herbert Marcuse once asserted, Father is God. Is this true? Could it be, Father has really gone? Even if this picture is still missing, it has always been in my heart. As for my father, love and cinema can be revealed by disappearing.